And if it happens that they're not willing to search through the needle in the haystack in terms of black women, then they're smart enough to do that. They're, they're intelligent. It's not, it's not something that they're missing. They're seeing it for what it is. That's one of the special skills that men have. Since we are great hunters, we're able to see exactly what's going on in the tribe. We know exactly what's going on in the community. We know exactly what's going on in the nation. So if we see clearly that while we're getting our education, while we may be broke or whatever, that you're going after the guy with criminal money and you're having sex with him, rewarding that cat, then we know to stay away from you. That's how smart we are. You want to condemn us for being smart. You want to condemn us for saying, no, that's not the way I want to go. You call us weak for saying, heck no, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to take care of your baby daddy. I don't want to take care of these thug children that aren't mine. That's not weak. That's incredibly intelligent. And the second piece, the second piece was to show trauma. Man, if you saw Derek Luke's character, brother looks super heroic. But they done put this little piece up in there that will trip all you all out. They got him sitting up there with his woman. And all he's doing is sitting up there trying to eat his breakfast or lunch at a little small table in, in the house. And she's questioning this guy. And again, he's a paramedic, man. Hero, you know what I mean? Amongst a bunch of heroes. That's what the, the show Trauma is all about. And she questions him about where he was the night before and then goes ahead and says hey let me see your cell phone where's your cell phone he and she didn't say let me see your cell phone she said where's your cell phone and right in that moment he looks at her and i'm telling you he he doesn't seem like a grown man in this role you, you're not sure if this was his mama or if it's his wife and so he's up there looking at her and she's looking at him and I'll give you three guesses what happens next. Let me give you an idea. She asks, she says, where's your cell phone? So does Derek Luke's character A say to her, look, this is my cell phone. I'm a grown ass man. Get your own cell phone, independent black woman. <laughs> Step off. Or B, where's my cell phone? Bitch. Have you lost your damn mind? This is my phone. <laughs> Back off. Or C. He sits there like a little kid, confused. And the audience is confused at the same time, wondering if this is his mother or his wife. And while he's sitting up there looking at her, perplexed, she reaches down and picks up his cell phone as he watches and then goes through it right in front of his face. And then exclaim to him that he can't do anything about it because the power is on her schedule, not his. Let's take a look. You can't defeat me, copyright. Hey, hey, check this out, y'all. I'm voicing this over myself. I can't take it no more. Forget the copyright. Forget all that. Hey, and also check it out. If you want to view it in its entirety, go ahead to generation-x.net and check it out there. All right, here we go. You got in late last night. Yeah, uh, it was a wreck at the Fillmore. Your shift is at midnight and you're home at four. Again. They, they they just needed two extra rigs and uh, me and Tyler took it that was it okay let me see your phone what deep 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 fine oh, I told you I told you I'm going to change and that's what I'm going to do. I know. Just forgiveness is on my schedule, not yours. Yeah. That's another piece of positive information that you, brothers in particular, have gotten out there 
into the media, into the atmosphere, so that people will know exactly how to write the black male in a situation in a mono relationship with an African-American woman and have it to be realistic. Now, you brothers out there who's sitting up here taking this mess, that's on you. That's how you're being portrayed on TV. You look like a punk in your relationship. African-American women are treating you like a punk in the relationship. They're on YouTube talking about you like you're a bunch of punks in relationships with them. Ain't nothing I can do about it. That's on you. But I'm going to commend all the brothers who stood up here and just told the truth. Because the only way out of this is for African-American women to be shamed into acting right, into acting like women, and for African-American men who are in these relationships to be shamed into knowing that they don't look like men, that they look like a bunch of weaklings. Don't think it's just me who sees it. It's every other man on the planet who sees it. I'll call you a punk too. You sit up there and let a woman go through your cell phone. That's weak, man. It's your phone. Will she let you go through her cell phone? Or will she look at you like you're crazy? Will she let you go through her purse? Or will she look at you like you're crazy? But here she is going through all your stuff. It's because you're weak. And that's on you. But those are two big components to what you brothers have done. What I've done. And it's so helpful. It makes you feel good. Also... In that same very episode, and this was the premiere of Trauma, showed how easy it is for a white woman to capture the attention of a black man going through that type of struggle with his own wife. You dig? If you have a choice to go through hell at home or to get a breath of fresh air when you're not there, you're going to go for the fresh air every time. You don't even want to go home. Go to a bar or something, right? That's what happens when you make your house a hellhole instead of a pleasurable experience. You start losing your man. Oh well. Seems like you should be taking notes from these other women. They they can hold on to their men. And then at the same time, I love it. Because haven't you noticed in these few months that people have stopped actually listening to what African American women have to say about relationships? They don't take it for they don't take it as reality anymore. I mean, how do you take what they have to say as, as reality when they have such a bad track record? They have sex with criminals. Seventy percent of them are unmarried. I mean, sorry, seventy-two percent of them are unmarried. Why would you take advice from them? Why would you even take advice from Oprah Winfrey? She's not married. She doesn't even have any children. You know, other races of women are smart enough to take advice from each other or others like them, others who, you know, have the experience, others who have the track record. Shoot, only makes sense to me. Well, those are the two awesome pieces of news that show that you guys have affected the world and it only took you two years. So imagine what happens with a few more months, a few more years, a few more days, decades. You could change everything. Change the whole world, baby. Whew. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs>